What is going on folks? Welcome back to another video on the Bosley Angling Channel. It is a cold morning here in Winnipeg. It's actually one of the first cold, cold mornings here. We're still about a month away from ice season, but there's still some fishing to do. I'm headed to Fort White Alive right now in search of some 35, 40 inch pikes. So we'll see how I do. See you guys there. These lakes are stocked. But they're stocked with like perch, pike. Um, I think there's walleye in the like three bigger lakes on that side that you'll see here in a second. It's a pretty cool spot. Um, you do have to pay to fish here, but that's okay. I know some good spots, and we'll get on some fish. I've got some fishing for some big northerns. I know there's some 40s that have been caught here. We're gonna work our way around these three big lakes they're all connected but so we've made it to the spot we're just kind of sitting on this little rock point using a maps chartreuse maps number three I think it's called a common like so in Manitoba you gotta always make sure your barbs are or I guess debarbed. So we should do that quickly. That one didn't work. Oh, the whole hook just. Oh, well, I guess I'm running two hooks, my brand new $7 lure. That sucks. Low retrieve, it's pretty late in the year. I have lots of faith that this is gonna catch something. I sound a little sick, it's because I am a little sick. <laughs> Tested positive for COVID for the second time in like, I think two months. Wild, wild. I'm just running my usual 6'6", ugly stick, medium with uh, Daiwa something, it's like a $30 reel, super cheap. All my money goes to ice fishing stuff instead. It's always as soon as you're least expecting. <laughs> Okay, let's move over there. One lake there, lake here, lake here, and they're all connected. But I head to this edge here. There's no real good way to get to it, but I'm gonna try. Which is the best way? I made it! Now time to do it again! This is not something a sickly person should do. Jesus. You know, there's this big branch right here out of the way. It broke off the second I touched it. Let's catch a pike. I don't want to do this anywhere. Okay. Monster, of course. So we're here at the second spot. First spot didn't produce any fish. But as soon as I got over here, 
I saw some disturbance over there on the surface. So I might have gotten two. Come on, right now, actually. Will not open his mouth. Look at this. He's just lockjaw, man. Ugh. Oh my goodness. All that work for this tiny little pike. Jeez. Man, that is the second time that I've had one of them just inhale the entirety of the lure. Like, oh great. Another one broke off. And he snapped me off. I thought he snapped me off. That fish fought like a damn bat out of hell. I'm not sure what's got into that guy, but I'm very, very disappointed in the quality of the damn hooks on these maps lures. I don't think I've ever had a hook do this to me before. All right, well, I guess I'll just break this other one off. Yeah, that metal should not break that easily. That is not very nice. I'm down to just single hook. I think I'll still be able to catch it. I'm pretty sure I can catch one of these pikes with no hooks, just by how hard they grab onto the lure. It's pretty insane. They must be hungry in here. All right, so that's the first fish of the day. Just second spot. I've only been here for maybe 30 minutes. So, not too bad if you were to ask me. That's what I'm here for. That's a solid pipe. All right, folks, that's a nicer one. Really thick. Let's get them back in the water. <laughs> 